hello guys back again with another video so now i'm going to be showing you how we can bypass our windows defender using a tool which is called rust needle i'll be leaving the link in the description so that you can also go on and try using it but before we start this video is strictly for educational purposes only all penetration testing shown in this video is performed in a controlled environment which is the virtual box on my local machine. You shouldn't be attempted to try this on live servers without proper authorization and you can also use the knowledge that you'll be gaining from this video to improve your cyber security practices. So now when you go on to this github for Rust Needle, we need to go on and download this to our local machine so i'm going to copy that and open up my terminal we are going to cron this to my desktop so let me just move to my desktop and i'm going to say git clone and paste there my link so this will take just a few seconds and this will be downloaded locally on your computer so we need to move to that location that was downloaded and when we do a let you see that we do have a couple of scripts so now if we come back here to its documentation it is very easy to use because everything was already set here so we do have a payload that we can create with our msf venom and we can use that to get access to our machine so i'm going to go on and copy this then i'm going to go on open up my terminal and we are going to paste that so if we come here, all I need to do is to set up my L port and I'm going to give it 444. You can feel free to give it any port you want. So I'm going to come back this side and I'm going to set my L host. And this one is going to be my Kali Linux IP. This one is going to be 192.168.43.102. So when we are done here, you see the node.txt is going to be created having our payload and it will be in base 64 so when i press enter this payload is going to be generated so i'm going to go on and open up another terminal and here i'm going to go on and start up my msf console in the quiet mode simply let me just go on and also name this and I'm going to call this tab MSF console. Now we are done. Here our payload is going to be generated and here we have our rust needle. So if you come back here to the documentation, they are telling you that you should go on and edit the main.rs to reflect to the URL where the encoded shellcode will be hosted. So since we have generated our node.txt or the node.txt is being generated, it is done. It is being generated within this location. We shall set up a server that will be linked into this file or a Python server setting it up in this location. So I'm going to go on and enter this location for SRC and we edit the information in our main.rs. So when I enter that location and if we list the data, we do have the main.rs. So now here I'm going to go on and use nano. This is a text editor and our main.rs. So if you come to this line of the const URL, we need to just go on and change this. So here I need to provide the IP to the server that I'll be setting up soon. So here I'm going to remove this port and provide the IP address. This one is going to be 43 to 102. Then I'll be setting the server to listen to port 80,000. And when we come down here to iterations, I can pass put it to one. If you want, you can just leave it at three. So here, since we are using nano, you are going to press Ctrl O to save, press enter, then Ctrl X to exit. So now this is done, we need to go on and create up a executable which we shall send to our Windows machine. So if we come back here to the documentation, they say that if you are developing this using a Linux machine, first you need to go on and execute up this command. So I'm going to copy that, then and I'm going to paste it here. When I press enter, 
now if you already see this it means I already executed this command but for you your display will be different once that is done we need to build up a executable I'm going to come here and copy this command then come back to my terminal I'm going to paste this now while building this executable is going to take long perhaps it will take like two or three minutes depending on how fast your machine is my machine is a bit slow so in the case I proceed with this I have to wait until the executable is done then we shall come back when everything is set you see the building has been started now when you see here our executable has been created we need to move to the location where it is being saved so if we come back here to the documentation they give you the path where your executable is being created so i'm going to just go on and copy this up to release then we come back here to our terminal i need to move to that location when i press enter or oh, i'm going to first move back here um inside my source or src i need to move back to rest needle then if we list here you see that we do have this location for target so if i go on and execute my previous command we shall be taken to the directory for release and if i do ls we see that we have a rust needle now if you want to check whether this is a windows executable you can just say fine you see that this is a pe32 so this one it is a windows program i'm going to go on and clear this so now we need to share this to our windows machine so i'm going to go on and start up a python server now this one you just say python 3 minus m so it is python 3 minus m for a module we need to go to the http.server and i'll be starting this on 8000 so this first server that i'm starting here on my port 8000 it is just to send my rust needle to a windows machine but we shall set up another server that will help us to host the file that will be the node.txt so i'm going to come and type my ip to the server then if we come back here you see we have a response to the server which means we have a connection and here i need to download my rust needle so i'm going to come tap on this since we are getting it from the internet we are going to be blocked by the mark of the web but we have to just click on a few tabs and we get this application locally on our machine so here it has been downloaded and it has been stopped so i'm going to come tap here then i'm going to say keep then we come here to show more then i'm going to say keep anyway so we see this one's going to be downloaded and once it is done we need to execute that but take note of that the windows defender is activated we still have our real-time protection and we've downloaded this and it wasn't cleaned so we need to go on and execute this to see whether it will be successful and we get access to our windows machine so this side i'm going to stop this server with ctrl c now here i'm going i need to move to my msf console so that i can set up a listener so here we are going to say use exploit mount handler then we need to also set up a payload once we are done here that payload will be similar to what we created the other side so here just say set up your payload then that payload it was windows slash spelling for windows windows then slash x64 that is the payload that we created and this one was metapreter underscore reverse underscore tcp so if we press enter that payload has been set we need to go on and set up our l host this will be the ip that we shall be listening to 
So this IP 192.168.43.102. If we press enter, we need to go on and we set up our L port. That is the same port we had set for our payload and it was 444. So if I press enter, you can even do options so that you can see everything that you had set earlier. When we are done here, I'm going to just run so that our listener is being started up. So I'm going to come back to this location. I need to move to the location where our note.txt was created. And if you remember, it was created on this path for Rust Needle. So I need to move back three times to my location of Rust Needle. And when I list the information here, you see we do have our node.txt. So from this location, since we had set our server listening to port 80,000, in my main.rs we need to go on and set up the same python server that i executed earlier to host my node.txt so if i set up a server here we do have our msf console which is ready to pick up any connection then we need to come and execute this file in our windows so i'm going to click on open since this was earlier stopped by the mark of the web we need to we are going to receive a smart screen and all you have to do is to click run and we get back our access so to take some time my machine in the virtual box is also a bit slow the smart screen is there so i'm going to just click on run now we can come back here to our kali linux we are going to see a connection has been made to our server which is getting our node.txt so let's check the msf console you see that we do have a meetup session in a few minutes we managed to get access to our windows machine without alerting our windows defender so here i'm going to just set this info so that you can see that we have access to our machine you see that this is a windows 10. now here you can proceed with any post exploitation or technique that you want and if you want you can also get information from your windows machine so in case you are interested to see more videos please you can feel free to subscribe on my channel once again you can also like this video have a great day peace